What is going on, campers? Let's cut some cheese. So I am just getting back into the uh, the craft shows and uh, some of the local farmers markets I do around my area. And yesterday I was uh, doing some stuff up to try and fill a table, and I just had an extra piece of rebar and I made this little thing. Um, I'm, I called it a letter opener. You know, it's rebar. It, it, I didn't even try and harden it. But then I got to thinking, you know what? I could do something nicer than that. Put a little curve in the handle, kind of give it a, a little swoop and call it a cheese knife. And I've got some pretty cool wood lying around the garage, which isn't exactly right for knife handles or anything like that. But I could certainly turn it into a cutting board, make some handles out of rebar, tie it all together. And I thought, throw that on the table for $125, $135. That might just be pretty cool. So I'm going to try it. I don't know. Worst that can happen is uh, I waste an afternoon making something that uh, I end up giving to my wife instead of trying to sell. But hey, let's try it. So say what you want about the rebar knife, but once you add it all together and realize, hey, it's just a cheese knife, I have no idea if it hardened. It, you know, it got a little harder after the quench with the file test, but who the heck knows? Doesn't matter. It's cutting cheese. <laughs> that is going to do it for this video. Uh, just a quick something. If it's a rustic looking thing, it'll, uh, 
you know, I'll throw a price tag on there of probably throw like a buck 25 on it, maybe 135, something like that. I'll catch you on the next one. Um, again, Patreon, if you want to go check that out for a dollar a month, there's a, a little expanded video, some, some more of my thought process, especially on making that thing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.